A launch overnight will be one of your last chances to watch the Delta IV Heavy blast off from the Space Coast. News 6's James Sparvero tells us United Launch Alliance is retiring its Delta and Atlas rockets soon. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff, the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket. Three years since its last launch from Cape Canaveral, Delta IV Heavy plans to lift off for the second to last time. In 19 years, United Launch Alliance's heavy lift rocket has launched 14 times, many of those being classified missions for the Department of Defense. This attempt would be the 15th launch, and ULA says Delta IV Heavy's 16th and final flight could happen next year at Pad 37B. ULA phasing out its Delta and Atlas rockets as its new Vulcan Centaur rocket prepares to replace them both. Two weeks ago, ULA says Vulcan aced a test firing of its engines at the launch pad. A date for its maiden flight still isn't announced. In a different test back in March, the upper stage of the rocket exploded. CBS space consultant Bill Harwood says ULA is counting on Vulcan to compete against SpaceX rockets for launches for the military. U.S. Space Force clearly wants competition. They want more than one provider. Uh, to launch their national security payloads in case there's a problem that might ground one, they still have a way to get their payloads into orbit. The Delta IV Heavy launch is scheduled for 3.29 in the morning and weather conditions are 75% favorable for liftoff. You can watch the launch with us live on ClickOrlando.com. At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. And you can stay up to date on all things space by subscribing to our Space Coast and Beyond newsletter from James and Eric Von Anken. Subscribers got an early look at the Delta IV launch in this week's edition. To sign up, just go to clickorlando.com newsletters and click sign up. The newsletter goes out every Monday.